God bless you, God's people. My name is Pastor Promise Adeyemi. I'm the resident pastor of Government House of Testimony here in Los Angeles, California. God is up to something again today. Welcome to Prophetic Voice. This is the moment of truth. I want you to understand that God already packaged something great for your life. Even from the foundation of the earth, it prepared you for such a time like this. Don't join the mediocres. God has predestined you to be great. And so you need to tell yourself, I am a great person. God has packaged me to be great. I need to live life into the fullest. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. The enemy will not allow you and will tell you always that God is up to nothing. But I'm here to tell you that God is up to something mega. It's not just something something mega and today we're going to be sharing our life experiences with you what we have you know gone through what god has you know has delivered us from and then sharing that testimony with you i believe just one person hearing the sound of my voice will, will just move to the next phase by hearing these testimonies that we're about to share with you ladies and gentlemen the bible says we overcame the dragon by the blood of a lamb and by the words of our testimony we have so much testimony in our spirit that we want to give to you today. And before I go further, I would like to introduce my guest. You know, I have these two great men of God in the house. You know, um, first to mention is a man of God all the way from Nigeria. If I, he flew in yesterday. Uh, so you're so privileged to have this man of God right here today. And his name is Pastor Akin Akintayo. Man of God, how are you doing, sir? Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. How was your journey? It was fine. It was beautiful. The Lord is good. I believe tiring too, isn't it? Honestly, it's, <laughs> it was so, and, but I thank God the Lord is my strength. Come on, the Lord is your strength. Welcome to Prophetic Voice. Thank you, Pastor. Are we trusting that God is going to use you today to speak a word into the life of our people Amen. watching everywhere? Amen. Pastor, let me tell you, there are people watching Africa right now. Yeah. There are people watching Asia, in, in Europe, you know, different parts of the world. Millions of people watching right now. I want to believe that God is going to put a word in your spirit Amen. that will touch just one life Amen. before we leave this broadcast today. Amen. And of course, I have my very good friend in the house, Reverend Emmanuel Oluwale. Man of God, how are you doing? Be blessed, God. God is good. Amen. It's a wonderful day and uh, it's a privilege to be Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your prophetic voice to Hallelujah. be part of what, this great thing that the Lord is doing in your life. Hallelujah. And in your ministry. And uh, I'm so excited for today. Glory to today, God. Blessed to the people of the Lord that may be watching wherever they are watching from today to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Yes. God is good. You know, sometimes if you don't know the story of people, please don't tell their glory. Mm. Uh, because sometimes we try to criticize the glory of people because we don't know their story. Mm. And you think that success jump on people, people just find themselves doing stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing just happened. There are things that, you know, men have paid, you know, some of us have paid price, you know, for, for where we are right now. Some of us are still paying the price, mm. you know, uh, for where we need to be. Yes. Mm. And so God is a God of time and purpose. Oh, yes. And this is your moment. Amen. I told you at the beginning of the program, I say it's a moment of truth. Yes. Mm. All right. Now, let me, let me talk. Let me start with uh, Reverend Emmanuel. When people look at you, now you're quoting scriptures and you're doing different kinds of program all over the, the nations of the earth, preaching the word of God. And people, and the people don't know your story. Yeah, I remember many years ago, you told me a little bit about your story. I'd like you to share with our people uh, where God has brought you from. Were you born a Christian? No, I wasn't born a Christian. And uh, as a matter of fact, the way you introduce my name, a lot of people were, I, we actually be wondering, I know this face, but that's not the name that I know him to be. Right, right. Um, it was part of my story. 
And I bless the name of the Lord because today we can, we can tell this story with joy. Because that was our past. I remember very well that I was born into an idolatrous family. Wow. And a lot of people that knows my name before, they know my last name before as Awowale. Uh-huh. Okay, uh -huh. that name in my tribal name is a name that is coined, that is loaded, that, is, that was bought, that was wrapped with an idol name. Jesus. See, the Awowale is an idol. Awo is an idol. So when, when you now use Awo Wale, it's like you say, an idol has come home. Wow. Yes. yes. Wow. And uh, I was not just born into that, you know, idol worshiping family. I practiced it myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My, No, no. I mean, I've met with a lot of people. So, oh, my father was an abelis. My father, you know, practiced this. My father, this was. But you, yes. are, are you you're saying that yes. you were once an abelis? Yes. So to say. Really? I practiced it myself, man of God, as young as from age nine to ten. Just like you start preaching at the age of nine, man of God, because I know a little bit about us. <laughs> you see? So I practiced this hour myself from like age nine as well. Wow. I have an account for it. I have some specific one that I had to do at a particular time of the day, of the night, of the afternoon. Wow. So now I can now cherish, you see, what the Lord has made me to be today. Carrying the Bible, quoting the scriptures preaching the deliverance and the ministry and the power and the grace of God to the people. Okay, hold on, Managa, because now people will not understand how you translated from being an abolist, you know, or, or serving idols to now serving the most high God. Yes. You know, I, I want you to just take me back a little bit. When, how did that happen? You know, the intervention, how did that happen? And when was that? You know, what made you, you know, uh, say to yourself, I don't want to worship idols again. I just want to serve the living God. Right. What happened? You see, by the grace of God, I, I have a very good brother that loves the Lord, that uh, I've come to know the Lord way ahead of me. Yes, sir. And uh, he left that particular, you know, stuff that we used to do that time because, we were, like we said, we were born into it. We have so many charms, idols, you know. Here in America, we call it voodoo. Maybe people will right. get it more with right. that. Right. You know, it's voodoo that I'm talking about. Because when I'm saying idol, a lot of people might be wondering, what is he talking about? Mm -hmm. The, the better way to use it, to call it here, that you really understand what we are talking about is, is, a, is, is a voodoo. You know, they, they call it, so other people can identify more with it when you talk about being a witch, using a witchcraft. Yeah. You know, to hypnotize people, to do some kind of, you know, conjure a lot of stuff, to get some things that ordinarily you will not be able to get, to seek favor, to seek help, and all that. So those are some of the things that we were able to do and accomplish with those voodoo that time. Mm. And when my brother happened to know the Lord ahead of me, so through, you know, the grace of God, prayers and, you know, preaching the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to me, by the grace of God, in the month of August 1977, I myself have surrendered my life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Yes. Wow. That must surrender be my divine. life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because, you know, one thing is, the devil will let you know that what you are doing is the best. Yes. Because every blessing that you think the devil is giving you, is giving you at the expense of something. Yeah. It can only give you that for a little while. Uh, it can give you a blessing with the, with the right hand, and with the left hand, it's going to collect it back from you. Wow. Part of what I used to do that time, growing up as a little kid, was that, you know, I do some voodoo that will allow me to be able to run very well. Wow. So when I compete as an athlete, nobody will be able to beat me. Wow. You know, so I will do all that one during the day, achieve that glory during the day, but then what happened the night? <laughs> I will end up running that race by myself. Wow. On my bed, yes. So those are some of the kind of the torment and the pain that the enemy inflicts on people. So when he's giving you some kind of blessing now, he will not let you see, know what is coming after that blessing. Managa, you need to hold that up because now talking mm -hmm. about the devil giving mm -hmm. you a blessing. Yes. And then after which began to torment you. Mm -hmm. You see, I remember back in the days, mm -hmm. you know, um, for me, I was not, you know, uh, born into a silver spoon house. You know, we didn't have so much. You know, my father tried his best, you know, mm. maybe his best was not good enough. Mm. You know, um, but I remember that we used to eat chicken, you know, once a year. Yes, during you know, Christmas. And so, so Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> when it's Christmas time, we're all anticipating yes. to eat chicken, you know. We're very happy because that's the only moment we have to eat. But now the, the bottom, this is where I'm going. Mm. We'll buy this baby chicken, you know, uh, January and we start feeding this, you know, give it meals and, not, and the chicken start eating and feeling like, whoa, mm. these people must really love me. Mm. 
and the when it's February, we're still feeding. Yes. March, we're still feeding. Mm -hmm. April, when it's October, it's November, oh, we tell it, we telling the chicken already. You better mm -hmm. get ready. Yes. It's about to be your funeral. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because this mm. is, that's what the devil does. The yeah. devil will, will tell you that continue mm. enjoying because mm. you see how you have all the money in the world. Yeah. Mm. Things are working well for you, and mm. but the enemy is deceiving you. Yeah. Mm. When the devil will strike, it won't tell you. Yes. Mm. When disaster comes to people, you never give notice. Mm. And so the enemy will just come and strike people. Boom! And you say, oh, it was once rich, yes. but now it's very poor. Mm. Oh, now he's dead. Yes. That's what the devil does to yes. people. Man of God, mm. for you as a person, I mean, you, you look like you were born in a silver spoon no. home, you know. You know and, and I mean, today you are, you are doing very well for yourself financially. You're a minister of the gospel. You have so Amen. much money. Amen. How w did your father give you all this money that no, you have? No, 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 no. I wasn't born in a silver spoon. Actually, really? I was born in a remote village in Nigeria. I was born into a very poor family. But you know what, Pastor? Jesus Christ is a transformer of life and destiny. Come mm. on now. Mm. And Come that is now. exactly what he did for me. Hallelujah. He changed my situation. Glory. He rewrote my story. Come on now. And then he covered me with his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why I'm, I, I want to I, I, I join everyone that is listening to this telecast. Jesus Christ will do more than that for you. Glory. Amen. If you will give your, your, your life to him, you will believe him and trust in his name. He will transform your life. Amen. Glory. He will bring it, but he will cause a turn around. Hmm. Because that is what he does. It's he specializes around. in turning around the lives of people Jesus. to become what he wants them to be. Because Jesus is the best planner of somebody's life. Mm. Wow, Jesus is the, the best, best planner, planner of someone's, someone's life. life. You know, I remember, you know, back in the days, you know, uh, trying to, to make ends meet. You know, um, I, I can never forget one particular woman, you know, uh, uh, we call her Mama Kweri. You know, mm. back back in, in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. And then I'll go to this woman and say, Ah, please can you give me rice to in the Naira, you know, give me mama, you know. Um <laughs> <laughs> give me, yeah, give me give me this, give me that. I'll pay you back, you know. Um I will pay you back by by my by month end, you know, mm. and then then comes the month end and then I start running away. <laughs> and this woman will say, Pastor, I see you. Don't run away, where's my money? Mm. Good. And it became a very shameful thing, you know, even though at that time I, w I already started preaching the gospel mm. of Jesus Christ. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you can still be very, very poor until you have the epiphany of what God has in stock for you. Mm. Yes. Because that's what the devil is doing. It will hide the purpose of God away from you mm. so that you don't know what is the purpose of God for your life. Mm. You see, the Bible says, don't allow anybody mess up with your expectation. Mm. Why? Because the expectation of the righteous, Just the Bible says, shall not, shall be, shall not cut be cut off. You must have an expectation because yes. the plan that God has for you yes. is such a great plan. Amen. Mm. Doesn't matter where you come from, your mm. background, where yes. you were born, mm. whether your father had money or not, yes. that does not determine your future. Mm. You mm. see, you have a God that cannot, you know, be defeated. Mm. You have a God that when he stands with you, nobody can come against Amen. you. Hallelujah. You have purpose. Mm. You see, we need to go back to the Garden of Eden where yes. God gave men plenty of stuff. Mm. When God gave us abundance of purpose, mm. abundance of prosperity, mm. joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm. And the man lost it and the enemy wants you to believe that you cannot make it. Mm. He wants to use your past to judge your future. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I tell people all the time, whenever the devil tells you or reminds you of your past, you need to tell the devil where he's going. Mm. So you need to tell the devil, oh, you know where you're going. Mm. You see, because the purpose of God for us is to fulfill our destiny. Mm. Yes. We have a colorful destiny. Yes. I tell people all the time, you can take my coat, but you can't change my destiny. Yes. yes. All you can do is to talk bad about me. All you can do is to try to talk me down. Mm. All you can do is to try to mess me up. But I know who I am in Christ. Yes. I know the purpose of God for me. Yes. So it doesn't matter what you're saying. I know that when the deal season of the Lord come upon me, oh, ladies and gentlemen, mm. I will become that which God wants yes. me to become. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory be to Hallelujah. God. It's such an amazing yes. story that one person can be as low as this. Yes. And in another second, yes. it's big. Yes. It's only God that can take us from that low yes. level yes. to a higher level. Yes. yes. Oh, I remember, I, you know, telling my dad, you know, I said, Dad, I, I will be the first person to enter into an aircraft. Hmm. And they was looking at me, he laughed at me. And it's so, he laughed. Where are you going to get the money? Mm. Where, where, who's going to sponsor you? Where are you going? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God is able to pay your bills. Mm. Amen. God is able to save your life. Amen. Amen. Reverend Emmanuel 
used to worship idols. I don't know what you are worshiping right now. Mm. I heard some people worship snakes in, mm. in India. Mm. You know, you're watching me. You are in, in, in India. Now, right now, you're worshiping, you're worshiping snake. Mm. And that you're bowing down for a snake. And mm. then you, 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 you bring money to a snake that mm. cannot spend the money. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the devil is lying to you. Mm. Yes. You need to understand that there is only one God. Mm. And his name is Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is only one God. He yes. is Alpha and the Omega. Yes. It's the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Yes. Amen. Don't allow the devil lie to you. Amen. Yes. You've got to shut the devil out and mm. tell the devil, I know a God that can deliver and save. And this God is who I will serve. Hallelujah. You have to serve the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. I know it might be difficult for you to understand this. Yes. But you see, you don't have to do so many things. Yes. You just have to confess your sin and say, Lord, Lord, please forgive me. Yes. Man of God, you can, can you remember the day you confessed your sin and said, Lord, have mercy, and you invited him into your heart? Yes. Well, what was I, it that you said? I, I, actually, I have to really, because like I said, devil, like you are just giving the sample of the chicken. Mm. You see, that's what the devil does. Mm. It will let you know that you are having the best of your life. Because part of the voodoo that I used to do at that time is to run after girls. Mm. Wow. You know, you, you put some in your mouth. You talk to some girls as young as I was. And, and they, they will, will follow you. And they will not be able to deny you. Know. Wow. <laughs> yes. You can, you can put that voodoo in your mouth and say anything to anybody. It will just be as if you are just remote controlling their lives. Wow. Is that by a man of God? But then, you see, God, when some of those things begin to disappoint you, this is one thing, man of God. You see, some of those things, when you are putting them together, you cannot afford to miss a step. When you miss a step out of some of those things that you do, guess what happens? It's going to disappoint you. Wow. So it's like sometimes devil doesn't have another chance for another person. Yeah. Wow. So when you just, it's just one strike. Mm. When you just mess up, you mess up with the devil, and the devil is not ready mm. to just say, okay, I'm going to forgive you. You know, God is God of many chances. Yes. yes. And that's why somebody like us, we have the kind of the privilege and the opportunity we have to be able to come to the Lord. Yes. And that's why some people are still stumbling. The Bible says seven times shall you rise, shall you fall, mm. and seven times shall you rise. Rise yes. again. So when I came to know that this devil that I'm serving doesn't even have a better plan for me, so the veil over my eyes was removed. Oh. I came and knelt down. Glory. And I asked him to come into my heart. Glory. To forgive me all my past. Hallelujah. To roll away all my sin. Hallelujah. And to give me the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That enabled me, that gave him the ability to be able to love the Lord with all my heart. Hallelujah. And you know, it's amazing because the love that I have for the world before, I now have it for the Lord. Hallelujah. And that has been the passion that I have to love the Lord, to serve the Lord, and to follow the Lord. Wow. With all my heart. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man God, of God, God, God can just translate yes. your life in just a second. Yes. yes. You see, you just need to call him because if you can call upon the Lord in the days of your trouble, yes. he said he will deliver you. Yes. yes. Right now, it doesn't matter where you are, what mm. you've done. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't matter what you your have past. done. God is able to save you. Amen. And of course, save you from your past. Yes. Save you from the generational curse. Yes. The devil will always tell you that you cannot come out of this. Mm. The devil will always tell you that you don't have another hope. Yes. You don't have another choice. Mm. But I say to you, you have a choice mm. today to make. Yes. If you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Yes. Man of God, when is it that you call upon the name of the Lord? Honestly, the Lord is awesome. Hallelujah. And uh, when I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I had the first thing I experienced was peace. I had peace of mind. And then I began to experience transformation. Like I told you earlier on, if not for Jesus, I wouldn't have been where I am today. Yes, sir. Mm. Whatever I have come today, the Lord Jesus Christ made me to become. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm telling those that are watching us, today that the Lord Jesus Christ will cause such a transformation in your life. Amen. The first thing that he will give you is peace. If mm. you look at what the devil is doing, the devil has an agenda for this present generation. Mm. And that agenda is to cause confusion, to cause problems, to, 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 to blindfold people so that they will think there is no way of escape. But I tell you what, Jesus Christ is the way, Hallelujah. the truth and life. Hallelujah. When you give your life to him, he gives you life. Hallelujah. When you surrender your life to him, he gives you life. He takes over. Mm. And all those things that look like problems will just vanish away. Mm. Glory. And you will be glad for Hallelujah. Glory, Hallelujah. glory. My people, I want Hallelujah. to encourage you this day. Hallelujah. Don't give up on hope. Hallelujah. God has a major, a major, major plan for you. Hallelujah. You are not useless. Yes. yes. Don't believe the lie of the devil. Yes. Yes, you have tried many times and failed. Mm. Try again. Yeah. yeah. 
Don't give up on hope. Yes. You have prayed mm -hmm. and you have prayed hard and it seems like God is not answering. Yes. Pray again. Mm -hmm. Because God is up to something in your life. Yes. You are not a container. You mm -hmm. are just a major content mm -hmm. that the enemy is contending with. Yes. And if you are able to win this fight, I'm telling you, God is going to give you continent Amen. of the word. God wants you to take over. Don't allow the devil... To, to manipulate and, and destroy and destruct your future. Amen. God has a major plan for you. Yes. If I were you, I will aspire to acquire the desire I admire. Amen. Because when I don't perspire mm. and, and I don't retire yes. and I refire, yes. God will bring about the blessings in my life. Amen. It's all about God. You've yes. got to tell yourself, huh? yes. I am a winner. Yes. I'm not a loser. Yes, yeah. You see, you need to tell yourself what the enemy don't want to hear. Yes. you got to tell yourself, I am not a loser. Amen. Amen. I am a winner. Yes. God has a purpose for me. Yes. And I will fulfill my destiny. Amen. No weapon formed against me will prosper. prosper. Yes. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, judgment is condemned. Yes. For this is my heritage. Amen. My righteousness coming Amen. from the Lord. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that God is still on the throne. Yes. God is still able to Amen. see you through. Yes. Oh, please, we need to talk about the significance of the cross. Yes. Just in short, in a short while. Yes. Just, I need you to know that it became poor. Yes. Yeah. So that you can be rich. So that you can be rich. Yes. He died so that you can have life. Yes. That is the reason why Jesus came. Mm. Man of God, just talk, talk to me about the mm. purpose of the cross for, for about 30 seconds. The, the purpose of the cross is to let us know that at, at, the, at the cross, there was an exchange. Yes. Man of God, that's Come the one I want people to pick up yes. on. There was an exchange. Mm. It's poverty for your riches. Yes. Hallelujah. It's pain for your gain. Yes. Hallelujah. It's sorrow for your joy. Yes. Hallelujah. So that from now on, you're not going to live the past life you have been living before. Yes, sir. Your life needs to be renewed, to be transformed mm -hmm. because of the exchange that took place at the cross. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Wow. So the, Lord. the cross is a place of exchange. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Yes. yes. You see, so when you come to the cross, yes. whatever you came with, yes. you're not going home with it. No. Oh, no. My God. Yep. So you come with poverty. Yes. It gives you prosperity. Yes. You come with sickness. Yes. It gives you good health. Oh, yes. yes. Come on now. Come on now. Don't you think that's a wonderful place? Wonder. Wonder. You want to be at the cross. Yes. Lay down at the cross. Yes. yes. Whatever you're going through, the yes. cross is able. Oh, yes. What, 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 what is those, the, the cross signifies Honest, signifies to you? Sir? Honestly speaking, like the man of God said, the cross represented everything that the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us the perfection of his glory Hallelujah. the perfection of life Hallelujah. and the perfection of goodness Hallelujah. when you look at the cross you get your victory My when God. you look up to it look at what happened elijah god sent elijah to that woman mm. yes sir and elijah told the woman told elijah look i just want to eat this food and die and elijah said no 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 you are not going to die you are going to live. Hmm. That is exactly what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling somebody today. Hmm. You are not going to die in your problem. Hmm. You are going to live. Hallelujah. Because Jesus lives. Hallelujah. We will live. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. Are looking at me, you will leave. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus you will leave. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. I want you to just stretch forth your hands to the camera. Stretch forth your hands to the cameras and begin to prophesy right now. Begin to prophesy right now and speak life upon that woman in the Islamic country. Watching right now, asking, how can I be saved? If you call on the name of Jesus, you will be saved. Everyone hearing the sound of our voice that the devil is manipulating. We ask that the Lord of heaven will deliver you in the name of Jesus. We ask that freedom will come to you in Jesus' name. That Jesus will visit you in that hotel room right now. Jesus will visit you in that house right now. At the hospital, Jesus is visiting you right now. He's healing your body. He's saving your soul. Every weapon of warfare of the enemy over your life is broken in the name of Jesus. Every enchantment and divination is destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, I ask in Jesus' name, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in the life of our people. We give you praise and glory. We give you praise and glory. You are worthy to be praised. There is somebody here to me right now. You are hearing me right now. The enemy has been telling you, you cannot come out of this. But 
I break that yoke over your life. I cause the peace of God upon your destiny. In the name of Jesus. For if the Son shall set you free, you are free indeed. We command your freedom right now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of sin break loose. In the name of Jesus. You yoke of poverty break loose. In the name of Jesus. You yoke of disease break loose. In the name of Jesus. Stop tormenting God's people. In the name of Jesus. For if the song set you free, you are, you are free. Indeed. Your freedom is now. Your freedom is now. Your freedom is now. Your freedom is now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. When God says yes, no one can say no. I want you to look up to Jesus. Look unto Jesus. The Bible says is the outer and the finisher of your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Hallelujah. let me tell you, Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. if you can look unto Jesus, mm -hmm. yes. it will sort you out. Oh, Amen. Yes. I didn't know what the word, the future hold for me mm. many years ago. Mm. And I thank God for where I am right now. Yes. Amen. It's Amen. only by the grace of God. Hallelujah. There are some of us here that the people have written us up. Yes. Oh, yes. Maybe our families have written us up. Yes. yes. And but today, God has made us a celebrity. Yes. Amen. That when men look at us, they celebrate us. Yes. Just because of the purpose of the cross. The cross. Yes. If not for the blood. Yes. Where would you be? Yes. If Jesus did not die for me. Yes. I don't know where I will be. Yes. I might be on dope or crack right now. Yes. But God delivered me yes. from my fears. Yes. It saved me. Yes. It can save you oh, yes. from that pain. Yes. It can save you. Yes. Now, don't kill yourself mm. because that's not the solution. No. The enemy will say, kill yourself. This mm. problem is too much. Mm. You can't handle it anymore. Uh. I say to you, don't listen to that voice. Yes. That's a lie of the devil. Yes. Tell yourself, I will bounce back again. Hallelujah. I will make it again. Hallelujah. There's somebody watching me right oh, now. Yes. You've lost so much money. Mm. And the enemy is telling you, mm. you cannot go back to that life again. Mm. Just kill yourself mm. and be done with. Mm. I speak in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I saw the voice of the devil. I saw the voice of the devil right now. In the name of Jesus, the power of death hovering over your life is canceled by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause your peace to come right now. In the name of Jesus. There's another person person hearing me right now, you are going through marital trouble. Yes. I speak peace in your marriage. In the name of Jesus, somebody hearing me right now, you are having cancer in your body. I prophesy that cancer to drop off your body. Somebody going through tuberculosis right now, that's a disease you have. But I pray in the Holy Ghost for your freedom right now in the name of Jesus. For if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. God is up to something. Man of God, I just want to thank God for your life. Life. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the studio Thank today. Man. It's been wonderful, you know, to be with you. Man of God, I want you to just give your last word for our people watching right now. I just want to appeal to our people to give their lives to Jesus Christ. If you have not given your life, give your life to Jesus. He will transform your life. Amen. He will make you to become somebody. Amen. And you'll be glad that you did. Hallelujah. Right. Man of God, I just want to let people know that there is hope for you. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7, the Bible says there is hope for a tree that is cut down. On the head. So part of what the cross has come to do for us is to give us hope. Hallelujah. You remember the truth from the cross that the Bible told him, that Jesus Christ told him, said today you will be with me in what? In paradise. Yes, sir. So there is hope for you as you are looking at us and then don't give up on life because God will never give up on you. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay blessed. Amen. You are listening to me right now and you have noticed a pattern in your family mm. that everybody in your family, they are always struggling. Mm. I want you to look at me right now and put your hand on that screen right now mm. and say to yourself, I am different. Hallelujah. Look me in the eye and tell that devil that I am different. Mm. Because based on the revelation that we are receiving right now, mm. God is going to deliver you. Amen. Amen. That young man, God is delivering you Amen. from the Amen. past. Amen. He's delivering you from your family. Amen. Amen. Every curse and spell over your life is broken Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I speak in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I ask for your freedom to come Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's been so good to be at the studio. Yes. I will be with you next week by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Tune in on this same channel mm. next week by 4 o'clock. In the afternoon, Los Angeles time. And we'll be live to speak life into your spirit and speak life into your situation. Mm -hmm. Remember, your past is in the tomb. Your future is in the womb. Till I see you next time, stay connected to God. God bless you. See you next time. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 